In today's lesson, we're going to focus on graphing a quadratic function, but when it's given to you in intercept form. So here's a standard equation of a quadratic function in intercept form. It's y is equal to a times x minus p times x minus q. So in this example, we could see that p is positive 1 and q is positive 3. P and Q represent the x-intercepts. So the two intercepts that we have are 1, 0 and 3, 0. Now with these intercepts, what we can do is make a table. Now once you know the x-intercepts, you want to find the vertex. By the way, for the x-intercepts, y is going to be 0. Now, we don't have a number here, so this is automatically a 1. In this case, positive 1. Because A is positive, that tells us that the graph is going to open upward. And if it opens upward, it's going to have a minimum value, which is the vertex. The coordinates of the vertex is h, k. Now, the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is h, h is the average of p and q. So to find h, we just need to add 1 and 3 and divide it by 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that's the x-coordinate of the vertex. It's 2. In order to find the y-coordinate, we need to plug it into the original equation. So let's replace x with 2 and let's get the y value. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now we can get some additional points to plot the graph or we could use these points but I'm going to get one point to the right and one point to the left. Let's plug in 4 and let's get the y value for that. 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3. Now because 0 and 4 are equidistant from the vertex, they will have the same y value. So when x is 0, y is going to be 3. That's why I like to put the vertex right in the middle, because the y values, they will be the same around it, based on the symmetry of the graph. And we could confirm it. If we replace x with 0, notice what we'll get. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. And we can see that there. Now, when you have at least 5 points, including the vertex, it's, you have enough to basically graph the function at this point. So let's go ahead and plot it. So first we have the y-intercept at 0, 3. Then we have the x-intercept at 1, 0. Another x-intercept at 3, 0. Another point at 4, 3. And the vertex at 2, negative 1. So we can see that the graph indeed opens upward. And it looks something like that. And here is our vertex. The coordinates is 2, negative 1. The minimum value for this quadratic function is the y-coordinate of the vertex. So the minimum value of this function is negative 1. The minimum value is located at x equals 2, but it has a value of negative 1. The axis of symmetry is the line that's right through, that passes right through the vertex. So the AOS, the axis of symmetry, it's an x value. It's x equals h or x equals 2. It's just the x coordinate of the vertex. 
So that's how you can find the axis of symmetry if you need to find it. Now, let's try another example. Feel free to pause the video and go ahead and graph this quadratic function. So let's say we have y is equal to 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 5. So feel free to take a minute. Actually, let me give you a different one. Try this one. Negative 2 x minus 1 times x plus 3. So feel free to pause the video and graph that quadratic function. So we could see that P is going to be positive 1 and Q is negative 3. Basically, you need to flip the sign. So if you see negative 1, P is 1. If you see positive 3, Q is negative 3. So that gives us the x-intercepts 1, 0, and negative 3, 0. So let's go ahead and put that in the table. So we have negative 3, comma, 0, and negative 1, 0. Now, let's go ahead and find the x-coordinate of the vertex. So the x-coordinate of the vertex, which equals h, that's going to be the average of p and q. So p is 1, q is negative 3. If we add 1 and negative 3, we'll get negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 1. And this should be a positive 1. which is what we have here. So negative 1 is the midpoint of negative 3 and 1. So the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex, is the midpoint of the two x-intercepts. That's what you want to get from this. Now, let's go ahead and plug in the x-coordinate of the vertex to get the y-value. So let's replace x with negative 1. So we have negative 2. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus 3 is positive 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we get the point negative 1, 8. Now let's see if we can get two additional points. One to the right and one to the left of the vertex. So one point to the right of negative 1 is 0. One point to the left is negative 2. So let's plug in negative 2. Let's replace negative 2 with x, or rather, x with negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, times 1 is 6. So this is 6. Notice that these two x-intercepts, they have the same y-value. They're equidistant from the vertex. So therefore, these two should have the same y-value. So this should be 6 as well. Now let's confirm it. Let's replace x with 0. And let's get the y-intercept. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 times 3. That's going to give us positive 6. As we can see, it's the same due to the symmetry of a parabola. So now that we have five points centered around the vertex, let's go ahead and plot it. So I'm going to have to stretch this graph a little bit higher since the highest point I see here is 8. Now, because a is negative 2, because it's a negative number, we know that this parabola is going to open downward. And instead of having a minimum value, like we did in a previous problem, this one is going to have a maximum value, which is going to be the vertex.
So according to this graph or the data table, I'm going to need eight points. So first we have negative three comma zero. That's our first X intercept. The other one is one comma zero. The vertex is negative one eight. So that's over here. And we got the point negative two six and the Y intercept at zero six. So we can clearly see that this is going to open downward. So that's a, a rough sketch of this parabola. And the axis of symmetry is going to be the line that passes through the vertex. So the AOS axis of symmetry is simply the X value of the vertex, which is negative one. So it's going to be X is equal to negative one. The vertex, it's located at negative one comma eight. The maximum value is the Y coordinate of the vertex. So this particular function has a maximum value of eight, but the maximum value is located at the X coordinate of negative one. So the X coordinate tells you the location of the point. The Y value tells you the value of the point or the value of the function at that point. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to graph a quadratic function if it's presented to you in intercept form.